Hi, I'm uh, Yassine from uh, Concilium. Um, I have a question about uh, the uh, regulation aspect. I think this is the most uh, critical um, aspect of uh, the ICOs. Um, and I'm very excited to, to be the first one to ask it to you. Because um, I was this morning at the um, uh, at a conference in Brussels with the regulator um, at the um, European Parliament talking about blockchain. And um, uh, believe me, those guys are really not aware of what's going on out there. Um, yeah, they, they, I think maybe like 90% of the people just discovered the meaning of blockchain uh, at that conference. Huh? And um, uh, I, I, I was not even, um, I couldn't like ask about ICOs uh, to them because this is like a cosmos for them. So um, I, I, there is a lot of money, as you said, that is poured into those ICOs right now. And um, so if tomorrow you would be uh, uh, designed to give an advice to those um, you know, politicians that are gonna uh, decide to regulate this um, ecosystem, how would you um, recommend them to um, process in this regulation? I would recommend that they do nothing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which is, uh, many of them actually, to give them a little bit of credit, many of them have, have been doing nothing and waiting and, and trying to understand uh, what is going on. Because this is like, uh, again, it's like the web and the internet all over again. In 95, 96, um, we did not regulate the internet. Uh, we did not regulate e-commerce. Uh, we let it uh, flourish before we started to understand what regulation old or new needed to be applied for it because it was something new. So the blockchain is something very new. So it's better that we let it develop a little bit, become more of an adult because it's like a baby right now. And, and then maybe, maybe there will be some new regulation. Maybe you can adapt and adopt some existing regulation and, um, and then go from there because otherwise, if you have 200 different regulators around the world because there are at least 200 financial regulation entities around the world, it's more than we have flavors of ice cream maybe. And if, if each one of them interpreted the situation in a different way, then we'd have to face 200 different ways of interpreting it. And it would be a disaster and then the whole thing will go down. Um, so right now the trend is that they are wait and see and the market is leading them. So they are, the smart ones are, are really curious and really wanting to understand what is going on. And the market is almost giving them some de facto information and de facto kind of situations that it'll be very hard for them to, to catch it and, and to slow it down. Uh, we're gonna have a panel talking about that, uh, Token Summit, and, and it's, it's a big discussion. Um, so it will take some education